We start with the Marco, owner for Intro, manufacturing contract focused on the supply Biscope furniture with a turnkey service. Of course. Right? Yeah, that's right. And then your turn. But I think yes, Daniele. With him. When I finish, uh, Marco. Okay, sit down. Are you ready with the presentation with Marco Vedovetto? Intro. Intro. Okay. I'm very curious to see your works. <laughs> Thank you. I show your brochures, very nice, absolutely. Thank you so much, Andrea, I it's a pleasure. We, so just we, everybody to, to take one because they're very interesting, the form of everything. This is another thing that we take, uh, take care to make it. We engine and supply and made it because it's the plus uh, of our job. This is your first experience here? Uh, here, yes. In Dubai, uh, we just supply some furniture. We are not stay. This is not uh, still our market. We more are more. Maybe in the future. Uh, maybe in the future. <laughs> we are to looking for that. By the way, when are you ready? You can go on. Do you, do do you have any remote control? Okay. 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 You, you have to push. Perhaps, Marco. non ci aiuta ok now he's ready yeah here okay, we are. perfect. Marco Vedoveto, you can start. Okay, thank you so much for uh, the invitation. Thank you so much for this possibility to speak about the contract. Uh, a lot of people know what is the contract as a general contractor, but uh, not a lot of people know what is the interior contract. Uh, be a contractor for interiors is uh, for us a way to, may, to be Italian artisan that uh, take care for the tailor-made interior. Everything we made, me like uh, intro, and my colleague Daniele for FMG, we take care to make every furniture uh, in uh, the tailor, huh? <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> in, uh, in the best way, taking care about all the process. From the beginning, uh, taking care from the, um, the, pres the, <laughs> the considering the project, architectural, and then next, considering the interior, preparing uh, uh, all the below quantity for all the scope of work. The interior contract starts from the office when we take care about, uh, oh, thank you. When we take care about all the information from uh, the architect and also the designer that uh, are for us the, our uh, best uh, uh, clients, because uh, we uh, take care about uh, their ideas, their project, and we supply everything from them. I like to say that uh, my company and the company of my colleague Daniele is a company like the hand of the designer, because designer make the idea and we supply the idea. Be interior contractor mean uh, working on each single element that. Uh, dress the, the interior of our client and the client of our client. Taking care about, uh, in my cases, every material like uh, upholstery, wood, and also every element that combine this kind of furniture. In this case, we are talking about the fabrics. Also, in this case, we customize also the fabric. So we, uh, we had a, um, a supplier that make the exactly texture for the fabrics that the designer required for this, this project. And to make this job, this uh, tailor job, this bespoke job, we need uh, a good team from us that go to take uh, all the measurement in the best way with a cutting edge approach, with a 3D scanner 
where we have to work in a most beautiful and historical building where there, of course, all the wall is not straight, all the situation is uh, very complex to give a fit out uh, interior. Sorry? Before we did it, uh, for the new project, did you see the jack away? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I have, I have to try this. I just say to him, uh, I have to try before the end of the day. <laughs> I want to. Incredible idea, I think. It's very interesting. I want to you. Yeah, I have to. So, taking care about all the process, as contractor mean also supply and install the tailored interiors in the way that we have to dress completely the space and taking care to collect before all the information for the players of the project. Who are the players for the project? We are talking about the designer. Again, it's the people that give to us the information to make the furniture. Architects, because they give to us the architecto architectural information about which kind of a wall we found, where we have made the, substra the substructure for our uh, joinery. And also, of course, the MAP engineering that give it to us all the information for MAP, electrical, plumbing, mechanical, to know where we have to consider the inspection, where we have to consider the position for the plumbing, the electrical, the socket, and on. Because uh, again, interiors have to, be, have to fit and to be installed perfectly. So we work uh, from the architectural to the detail, going very, very in uh, the particular of the each element and each furniture, even the lost furniture. For us, this is a real uh, job with tailoring. So this is for us is mean uh, an interior contractor in the way that we are. Another particular of our job is uh, every element uh, is a unique, a unique piece, because uh, we are working in uh, the luxury field, of course, where uh, the people, that uh, the client of our client, the client of the designer, the client of the general contracting that require our job, uh, can to be satisfied from something chosen from the catalog. They prefer to be having something that's unique, like a diamond, like uh, something very natural, that they know that uh, this element, this piece is only for home house or own hotel or retail or every, every space uh, that we dress. This is the real services, the Turkish services and the real tailor-made. As you can see, we consider every element we are talking about here, in particular in hotel, uh, this is a, is a desk where we have to combine uh, different material, different approach, even from the bossery that closes the wall and also the singular element like this desk that have the leather cover, metal covering for the drawings, and then all the, the wooden parts that combine the, the, the counter and the legs. The, for us, uh, when we talk about uh, and we speak about luxury, luxury for us uh, is to the choice. So a luxury client has the choice and the control on each detail because he wants to be able to make the selection on everything for his own space. And uh, this is the why we work very close for wooden part, my side, and also marble because uh, these two natural elements combined to the other special finish, like fabrics, again, like the beginning, lightning, metals, and also the custom finishes for the metal, is all element that will be designed and also uh, make a sample, sampleize, for own client, for, uh, for each client. And this is our artisan. This is an uh, artisan inside to the, our factory, and this is the the, the ants that work on the marble in the factory of Daniele. FMG shape. Now I'd like to, to show you some jobs. This is, uh, uh, is one of the most important for us because uh, this is an hotel. We are talking about the hospitality field. Here we are, work we, here we are in Italy and uh, in uh, Como Lake. 
and this hotel called Sereno had uh, uh, some important uh, uh, awards and uh, from 2023 and so 2022. This year, 2023, they are first resort also in Europe. Last year only the, was fourth in Italy. This year also the one in Europe. And this is the four, number first at the world. So it's a, for us also a, a, good, uh, a good win too. What we do and we supply in this hotel, we have supply marble finishes, all the interior for the room, uh, again, uh, all the boiserie making with the particular fabrics, uh, textile and uh, made tailor uh, for this project based on the design drawings. We make all the public space here, as is possible to see. This was a one Michelin star restaurant, lobby, spa, and also outside element like this uh, uh, bristle ale uh, that has lighting system concealed inside to the construction. And this is why I talk about and speak about uh, the good relationship between every players, also the general contractor in this case. <coughs> As you can see, all uh, the facades are uh, covered with marble. This is um, Cepo di Gre. And this basement was the existing one, the element existing, because this building was uh, demolition and uh, restored from the first floor to on top. Inside, again, uh, we, we have uh, a lot of examples where we have to manage, combine, and supply every kind of ma material like this uh, piping in metals. Uh, this metal, uh, gold, uh, gold pink, is a leitmotiv about all around the hotel. And the other material typical here is, uh, are, sorry, the uh, wood in uh, walnut. Which kind of the marble is the Verde Alpi? This is a... Uh, yes, correct, it's Verde Alpi. Yeah, Verde Alpi, exactly. In this kind of space, we can uh, have a, a, a sort of uh, an example, example about uh, the fit out for this kind of space. This is simply a winery that uh, divide uh, the corridor that go to the, the, the apartment and the, the rooms. And this divide the space uh, from the restaurant and uh, the public corridor. This space include uh, uh, boiserie, glass boiserie, glass partition, and inside all the boiserie and ceiling that cover and clad all the, 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 function, the function and also the mechanical for the, the winery. Inside there is also a table like a loose furniture. And then Marco, do you have a, a lighting designer inside in your... Yeah, in this project we supply some lighting in the bathroom. This one in, part uh, this one in the, the restaurant area. And we combine something that was supplied from us, like this lighting and this one that was purchased from a client, and we made the procurement for the client, purchasing floss. This was installed from the general contracting. Ceiling in concrete was from general contracting. Everything called clad the wall was supplied from us, the interior contractor. As you can see, the marble in this case has been approached in a very, very particular way where we have to work, Daniele have to work with the machine and that Hydro have to hydrojet hydrojet and mill because uh, here there are different layer and different deep and thickness about this kind of uh, of finishes as you can see this was uh, an icon about the the, the historical houses uh, in como lake as you can see also the cladding in with the green alps is in, on the lobby of the spa. This is, was the, the, the spa lobby, reception, sorry. And this is one of the suite. Again, here there, is, there are a lot of coordination on site because uh, we have to combine all the wall cladding with the marble, all the ceiling where we apply a system like a deck, but uh, to engine to the, the, the construction floor. So we have to consider that this ceiling is like a deck apply on the, on the concrete. Engine until uh, floating. And What's the mattress that you use uh, on the floor? On the floor, <laughs> this is uh, something very, very special because we are talking about a terrazzo. 
This terrazzo has uh, pieces of, of marble around uh, five centimeter deep and uh, all the resin with the micro dust of uh, marble inside. The same use the scarpa in Venice, right? This is uh, uh, an, uh, another interpretation about uh, the terrazzo veneziano, see? typical of our region. Very nice. Thank you so much. Again, uh, the, the coordination gives uh, the possibility to apply wooden cladding very, very uh, in the, the position where we are very close to the drywall and we can use the engine system on in the back so you have a perfect line where end the drywall and start the wood and also the door are, in are obviously like a ghost door where in the powder room we close that and the this entry door give uh, uh, only one space uh, for the entrance of this room. Again, uh, here there is uh, the engineerization of the marble. In this case, the, factory, the marble factory have to use a particular solution because uh, Cepo di Gre is a marble very fragile because uh, all the element inside, when you work this, can have uh, some the, uh, the broken or uh, remove the pieces inside. So in this case, uh, we uh, replicated the uh, Cepo di Gre using a resin, a resin, and in this way, we can uh, use this one uh, working like a, a fluted system, that the fluted uh, decoration is uh, in a, a lot of part of this, uh, of this job, of this uh, hotel. And we in the door, what did you use, the wallpaper or spray brick? This is fabric of Foster, six millimeter Foster. And also the handle, this is a custom handle, we have the custom profile that continues the boiserie. Another particular of this room, again for the ceiling, we have to take in, under control all the line because in every room, I don't know if it's possible to go before, maybe yes, yeah. In every room, we have the ceiling that have to go exactly straight without uh, changing the, the axis. And the, the, the ceiling of the living room have to continue perfectly also on the ceiling of the bedroom and then from the bedroom inside again of the cabin, the walking wardrobe. And this was, and this mean a, a very, very, very care and with detail and drawing every single slab, considering also the air, to, co to correct the uh, not perfect square of the room. The only, only point where we change the slab, according to the designer, was this kind of door, the space where there is the closed door, where this door, from the living room to the working, uh, the working closet as closed, so they permitted to us to correct this kind of uh, axis in this position. This is the bathroom again, where we combine slab, slab and also solid marble to work for the basin and some detail. I go fast now because uh, this is only another example in another place. This is uh, Ibiza, so we are out from Italy. We work a lot out from Italy, mostly out from Italy. And this was uh, for, uh, this is for a village, it's a work in progress still. And this is the detail where we combine a different material like a leather, where we have to take care about also the stitches because the designer want to be uh, able to control also the color of the, the um, these colors, okay, the, uh, and also all of the the work where that make the detail. Also, the handle is custom using the same leather, and this is another example. Even uh, we are talking about even uh, for the hospitality, we are in New York. The United States is one of uh, the most important market starting from New York, then Florida, Miami, and uh, North Miami, a lot also California, Beverly Hills, uh, uh, Los Angeles, uh, in a, where obviously we, have, we can take care about this kind of uh, uh, high-level project. You're a really big spender. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and also where I, I, lo I love to go there, you know, yeah. because I have to control this kind of, uh, exactly. <laughs> of, of building site. <laughs> Our job is very important. Yes, uh, of course. <laughs> okay, this is the interior about the Carlisle Hotel. The Carlisle now is uh, rented by Rosewood. Rosewood uh, is an hotel chain so very important for us because we are making a lot of uh, projects for them. 
We are also choice from them and uh, some uh, project of Rosewood have the name Intro for uh, to give uh, the uh, the the place uh, to the other hotels where they have to supply the furniture. In this moment, we are working also in Doha for Rosewood Doha, the new one. And again, inside there are a lot of examples of different elements. Also, this desk was uh, one original uh, desk, uh, uh, old style. This was uh, shipped to our factory from the designer that are required to make the exactly one replicate for all the rooms for the, the, the hotel. Ah, another, uh, and we supply also the curtain that is very important, the, uh, the shear and also the blackout. This is uh, the, the field of my, my colleague Daniele. Here is, is, one, is one of the, the examples where it's very important that the coordination between uh, marble cladding and furniture. And this is uh, an example where we, when we talk about uh, the control on the finishes, very important control. In this case, uh, this finishes is a gold leaf. We are, now we are in the residential field. Here we are talking about the Cannes in Cote Azur. This villa is a villa in front of Cannes. This is uh, the, the Cannes shores. And this is the master bedroom that the client can see the, the, the sea view okay, and see Cannes. In this, uh, in this villa, we take care about all the furniture, about uh, the bedrooms, kitchen, and this is our, the all working closet inside to the, the each bedroom. This is six bedroom villas on the three floors. Style is, uh, the name of the villa is a captain villa, and uh, of course, client give the style to, to make this kind of mood. This is the kitchen. And this is the bar. In this case, we have also to coordinate uh, a lot with the uh, GC because uh, these tiles uh, were supplied from general contracting and uh, we have to supply perfectly everything because uh, also on the, the round, the shapes have to be covered perfectly with the, the, the the, the, this kind of particular tile. So we supply and give it to them and send to them also the template in the way that uh, they know perfectly what is the, the way to clad with, uh, uh, with the tiles, considering also the, the thickness of the glue. As I said, the Miami Beach is another important market for us. Here is another example where we control a lot every furniture in this case uh, i'd like to to show you this one because uh, this kind of decoration has to be engineered a lot because it was very difficult to keep uh, straight the door so much work with the cnc machine and also client and designer doesn't like to have the radius too too uh, too thin they want a radius zero so we have to check the solution to work this one with the laser and uh, the problem of the laser is uh, the burnishes of the shape. And so we have to try to make a solution to avoid uh, any burnishing uh, on, the, on the surface. This is a secret. <laughs> and uh, this is the result. And then he liked a lot the wardrobe and the result for the wardrobe. Uh, it complicated a bit our job because it required the same also for the shower. This was a short of pain. Because this one, of course, couldn't be, again, a, a panel. And so we have to, to make another solution to combine the wooden finishes, because this is veneer, on top of material waterproof uh, with the glue waterproofing. And also resistant because uh, this space was... Excuse me, Marco, which kind of material? Is this a metal? No. No, no, this is veneer on top of HPL. So we apply this one on top on a plastic material that uh, is uh, very, very waterproofing and uh, resistant to the water. 
And this is why, because the client like the, the tiles used for the floor, and they want to be a replicate this one also on the shower. And this was the late motive of, the, of, the, of this kind of fence. And as you can see, the result is very, very perfect, even if uh, it's artistic and draws like uh, a pattern. This was a kitchen. And this is, was uh, a... <laughs> This was a, 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 a trade union with uh, Massimo Iosaghini idea. This was the first experience together with the uh, studio Iosaghini in 2019. We made uh, Massimo Iosaghini in a scale with the 3D printer because uh, the, the, the idea was uh, considering the human proportion. So this kind of pavilion apparently is more long than uh, uh, is, a, is a shorter than uh, a part uh, that seam because we have a real massimo and then the the other massimo in scale and uh, double massimo <laughs> <laughs> yeah and everything is uh, thinks about uh, to give this kind of, this kind of uh, uh, perspective to to give this kind of feeling i like uh, because you you are from ben Veneto, no? one of the region of Italy, Veneto. Correct. And in Veneto, we had the work of Palladio, Palladio in the theater, in the Olympic Theater in Vicenza. Vicenza used the, the same stratagem, the same technique to create more distance, to have this kind of corridor, visual corridor, uh, to change the proportion that you feel, no? This was the sense of, of this installation that you realize in a very well-made uh, you. Way. Thank you so much. <coughs> and the, the, the most uh, uh, recent uh, um, experience together with uh, Studio Zaghini was for another important event in Italy, Sono del Mobile di Milano. And uh, here we are in the Statal uh, University, close to the dome, uh, the dome square. And uh, we supply this kind of uh, OASI, where it was, uh, was, was uh, a, a moment uh, a little bit also warm in Italy here. And during the day, this kind of uh, OASI become a sort of a place where take a seat and take a moment of relax in the uh, chaotic uh, moment of uh, the, the pro not only chaotic, but also the, the very nice moment of uh, Salon del Mobile. And here we make a, a very nice collaboration together with Felis, where you can see the same sofa, drawings from Massimo Iosaghini, that you can see also there. <laughs> and, uh, and it was a very nice experience, uh, and uh, me and Daniele participating to this event together with uh, Massimo Iosaghini Studio, Felis, uh, and, uh, and us. Now I'd like to, to give the, the, the microphone to my colleague, Daniele, because now we start uh, about the experience and the value of the experience uh, for the marble. Why I talk about experience? Because uh, experience is not only the know-how that we have, but also the experience that we can uh, make to the customer and the customer of the, our customer when uh, they go directly in the place where we take the material for their own project. Well, consider that uh, FMG is a family business. So we are the third generation. Oh, just a second, I want to say yeah. Daniel Farinon, owner of the FMG Shapes Focus on the Luxury Residential Projects, right? That's your turn. I'm yes. very curious to see your works. Thank you. So as said, uh, our business is a family business. Uh, we are the third generation, so doing the contract with Stone to me means uh, uh, is a kind of obsession. I'm very passionate about, about my job because uh, we have uh, the tradition in the family, so it's an important heritage and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, something that uh, I would like to transmit to my client. So it's a passion, it's a lifestyle and uh, this in an emotional way. 
I can say that uh, doing a contract with Stone is uh, mainly planning. So planning uh, and organizing everything. We start from the query, we have a connection, of course, uh, after three generations, we have a good connection with uh, the queries. And uh, everything starts here with uh, the material sourcing. If you do a good sourcing at the beginning, all the project start, uh, will start in a smooth way. Otherwise, you will start uh, with some challenges. So I take care uh, as well of the inspection of the blocks, uh, just to be sure that the material will uh, match the exigencies of the clients uh, and also the quality expected uh, in the project. We source material from all around the world. So we will start from the basic material limestone travertine to the semi-precious like this one. This is uh, our offices. We, we don't have just an office, we have uh, the production as well. So uh, we combine the services required from the uh, project, from uh, the surveys to the production, and we have the technical office as well. So we process everything in us inside our company. Book match, yeah is uh, something that uh, is uh, popular again. After the 70s, uh, the book match is something that is uh, really required on the high-end projects in this moment. Then, uh, another thing that we do to ensure that the material, the expectation of the project will match the um, expectation of the client uh, is uh, making the simulation. So from the drawing, we do um, taping on the slabs uh, and we will do the simulation. So what the cl client uh, will receive is uh, exactly what uh, he uh, saw in the previous simulation. So this is another part of organizing. We'll start from the drawings, from the simulation, and then we go on uh, with the, the supply. Is it a private residential? Or is it this one is a residential, yes. This one is a private villa uh, that uh, we made in China. So we start uh, from the specification, sampling, and uh, we go on with the templating on the slab uh, just to show the final result. And this is very important because the expectation will be respected uh, from the drawings uh, to the final result as well. I can say that uh, production is the, in this moment, when we are talking about the complex project, uh, is the easy part. In the past, when uh, my father or my grandfather was used to work uh, in the stone business, uh, the production was the core of the, the business. So uh, it was the hard part. Now we have the surveys, the logistic, uh, the coordination with the architects, uh, everything that uh, need a lot of attention just to respect uh, the ex expectation of the client. In this case, after the simulation on the drawing, we dry lay everything, so before packing, just to be sure that everything will is uh, as per drawing, so we double measure again. In this case, we are uh, we work, of course, 99% of our production is made with the natural stone, but in this case, we worked with the natural shell stone, mother of pearl. So we made the 3D panels with the real mother of pearl. As a intro do, we do the same. We combine material, so in this case we have genuine leather together with a backlighted system to make some special wall coverings. So basically we are really flexible to find solution uh, using our uh, knowledge that in my opinion is uh, something that is very unique when we talk about Italianity, is uh, mainly uh, talking about uh, uh, knowledge and tra tradition as well. So we work with uh, CNC 5-axis, CNC machine, water jet, 
to uh, reach the uh, result expected from the uh, architects. So basically finding the solution is a big part of our job, I can say of my job, because I'm the sales person inside, inside the company. So giving the first solution to get the project is something that is really very important. Everything uh, is uh, measured not once, twice, three times, and it's n never enough. We just need to be sure because uh, correcting an issue in our company costs zero. Like a maniacal. Exactly. That's why I said that, that I'm obsessed. <laughs> the hand finishing is something very unique and very hard in our job because it's something that a machine will never substitute. So we need definitely to train and uh, to look for uh, skilled people because you need uh, to have uh, uh, an artistic soul to work with stone because it's not just a matter of uh, programming a CNC machine. It's a matter of combining the colors, the right, right shades, the right tones, just to have uh, the perfect result. As you can see, we are really flexible in production. This one, this project has been made in uh, cooperation with the intro. So we work a lot together just because another important part is that our technical offices work in the same way. So sharing the same values between the two companies is something that uh, uh, grants you a perfect result. Logistic is uh, something that, uh, with stone, of course, uh, is something that is very challenging because uh, working uh, uh, in the penthouses in Manhattan or in Monte Carlo uh, asks you a lot of uh, connection and good knowledge about the permits. You need to transport heavy material to the top of the buildings. So everything is uh, really complicated. But uh, that's why a lot of people uh, ask for our services, because uh, we are, uh, after three generations, we are uh, skilled in problem solving. Here another example of uh, some mill work covered with stone. So in a very quick way, I presented you my company, my philosophy, and our vision of the contract made with the stone. I would like to pass again the microphone to Marco to make the conclusion, if uh, you don't have any question. No. For sure, I know, Massimo, you have a question. I, I have you are a here question. for this one, no? I am here to do questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, Daniel, uh, Daniele, no, it's very interesting your presentation, also the Marco presentation, but now we speak with you. Uh, and uh, um, what is interesting is um, uh, in the evolution of the stones of the last years, no? because uh, the stones, uh, I, I remember when I, I began the, the, my activity of architect, was considered something of very luxury, very uh, to use only in certain cases, uh, not in, in so massive way. No? But massive in sense positive, obviously. Uh, what do you think about this? There is a, a, a possibility to consider a stone uh, a material not only for top top luxury, something that you can use also in residential. Uh, I mean, uh, for uh, what you what we call, you know, in the classification of the market in the premium area, and not only in top luxury area. I mean, because. Uh, uh, just uh, to, to understand uh, uh, why I do this question. Uh, for instance, we have, uh, uh, we follow some chains of uh, hotels uh, where uh, um, also if you have the five stars hotel, there is uh, an attention, no? they are carefully to the costs. No? 
what do you think? Can we consider a material that uh, we can use uh, in a massive way or remaining something only on the top uh, of, uh, of the business? Well, actually this one is a very good and a complicated uh, question because uh, it involves many uh, vision and aspect of uh, our business. So definitely the first one is that uh, uh, we need to see, uh, to consider this question from a technical way. So there are some areas that uh, uh, could be uh, where you could use the stone in some area where the stone is not uh, suggested. So we make a big division here. When we are talking about, uh, for example, lobbies or uh, uh, wellness area, we need to consider the chemical composition of the stone to avoid stains or uh, not to affect the uh, surface after uh, years of use or after many users or clients in the hospitality uh, projects. And this is a technical aspect. The second one is uh, uh, the budget. Mm. So that is the a first one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yes, at the end, yes. So we need, uh, in, on this aspect, uh, I can say that human connection is something very important. So the connection between, uh, between a company like mine because we need to have, uh, I, we need to talk to the designer to find the, the perfect size dimension of the, the panels that will cover the flooring and the cladding. So in this case uh, would mean uh, avoid uh, wastage. That is one of the big aspects that, that affect uh, the price of the stone. The second one is another connection between us and our supplier. So knowing the color of the material that the architect or the designer would like to use in the, in the project, we need to find a common solution to uh, install the right material with the right query connection just to uh, reach the same target. So yes, I can say at the end yes, but we need to consider technical aspects and uh, human connection. That is uh, something that looks uh, easy, but is not at the end. No, but in fact, my personal opinion is that in the stone's uh, activities, there is nothing of, of easy. No. Because also in 3D, in 3D evolution, oh, I saw an exhibition in Venice where there is this artist uh, uh, that sculpts all uh, the statue with a classical effect mm -hmm. directly by 3D with computers no? and I remember I talked uh, is, the, is the hand of the sculptors no? because uh, really you have the possibility to reproduce uh, yes. uh, everything. No? Do you do this in your company? This kind of uh, I mean uh, complicated or complex uh, 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 sculpture or details or a, fa a facade or something else? Well, definitely I can say yes. We involve a 3D scanner, so a lot of time uh, we use a small model, then we scan the model and we scale it just to, to reproduce uh, with the, this 5-axis CNC machine. But again, uh, we need to consider that uh, the machine will never finish with the right details. So the human aspect is something that uh, need to be involved in any kind of this particular project as well. Or I can say that uh, in, uh, when we were talking about uh, 3D models uh, that will be uh, used for, uh, to make a sculpture or uh, something very special, something very crazy in stone, we need at the end to give the human touch that will give the uniqueness to the final element. Otherwise, it will make no sense to use a stone instead of cement painted. So we need to have the human touch to give the right value to the, to the element, in my opinion. Andrea, can, can I do a question to Marco? What do you think? Marco, Here absolutely. I, I appreciate you 
your job because I love the details. Thank you. No, I, I... No, 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 I do, I do, I no, do. No, no, no. Not Marco. Marco. Si. We have to consider the other face of uh, the work you do with Daniele, no? That is wood. Yeah. Because uh, in the image we see, also in the project that you kindly realized for me, the, the, the protagonist, the, the main actor, is wood. It's the wood exactly combined with the other material, like, uh, as again... And, uh, but mm. what, what I want to ask you, okay, yeah. uh, we take act that, that you use wood, and yeah, different mostly. kind of wood, we yeah. know, like in the storm, the wood is not no, wood, no. but different kind of wood, okay. Yeah. But uh, what do you think about uh, uh, the use in ecological way of, uh, of the wood, because also in these days we, we spoke about uh, wood and we said, okay, it's the material of the future because uh, it's ecological, it's, it's in harmony with the, 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 the ambient, uh, it's a sort of save of the planet, no? But uh, um, what do you think about this? There is this kind of consciousness uh, in the use of the wood. There is this kind of uh, perception. Then at the end also the architect, and I, I think you can criticize also the architect in this sense. Uh, what do you think about this? Because you are an expert of wood. Thanks for the question, it's a good question. Uh, I think about uh, the uh, education about the environment. Uh, in this moment, uh, the people have, a most, uh, have a more feeling about that and uh, about uh, which kind of wood they have to select. Also, the, what I see from uh, 10 years ago is also a way different to think about the finishes for the wood, because wood is, about, is a natural material, of course. But it's not the material that is uh, uh, what is the way to say, that is uh, a problematic uh, for ecology to, to take in consideration, but uh, the finish is on top of that. Now I see there is more uh, sensibility to use a different kind of finish, like uh, water finishes, uh, more matte and less uh, shiny, that give, uh, of course, uh, the wow effect, but uh, you use uh, most uh, chemical element uh, to go on top uh, on the wood. So you lost the natural wood because if I have one millimeter of polyurethanic finishes very shiny on top, this is plastic. So it's quite laminated, no? In this moment, I see uh, an attention to use the wood and appreciate the wood as wood, not as finishes. And also another, uh, the second step is uh, I see also an attention to where the wood have to be purchased. Our company work a lot with the FNC, uh, FNC uh, supplier where uh, mean that we know the certification about uh, where the wood uh, has been taken. We use also different kind of uh, uh, mixed wood where, where we can uh, use uh, the substract on the panel where we have the wooden finishes only like veneer finishes. We can use the paneling, again FNC, so uh, uh, control with the deforest, uh, reforestation okay, process. And also this wood is uh, certificated and taken and recombined and recycled by the other wood making like a new panel. So if the question is, uh, there is now an attention about that and the environment in my job, of course, yes. And uh, we are happy about that and to follow this kind of, uh, of way. I had no doubt. I, I, listen to me. Uh, about because you told before you before you told that uh, one of your clients no yep. needs to have the, the design of the screen with this decor with uh, radius zero no? yeah I don't know I don't have clients uh, like you because uh, thank it's, you it's, it's I very, want to work with you most it's very <laughs> it's very precise uh, in the in the request okay but. Tell me, uh, tell me, speak about, speak about your clients, no? What, what they need. <laughs> okay. For I sure, rich. Rich. Okay, I, I very rich people. Like, okay. But uh, which is the relationship? I know, but uh, you know, just to explain, uh, 
to the, the, friend that, uh, the friends that uh, are here. What they need, which kind of relationship you have uh, with uh, the, the, the architect that, that is, uh, you mean, the, the, in a certain way, uh, the interpreter of uh, the existence of the clients, no? but also with the final client, which kind of relationship you have? Well, uh, same to Daniele for his company. I'm the sales engineer for mine, so I'm the face of my company. And uh, I have the approach with the uh, architect, designer, and then also with their client. Uh, the, good, uh, uh, the good way to work with the final client and the architect is uh, working team with them in a, in a very faith relationship where they give their dream in my hand. And this is a, a way that uh, I respect this uh, needed, okay? go very, very deeper where this, the needed could be replicated, okay? You know, I think about, uh, this is, could be also an answer about the, uh, the marble, uh, why choose the marble instead of another material? What you can think about that, about the marble, and also about uh, the wood, is the uh, two natural elements. So every piece of marble in uh, the quarry even uh, inside it to the, the tree, I can discover different type of a figure of the same wood. This keeps something unique. And uh, the, the, my feeling about my client is my client like a beauty. They know that they can pay for this beauty. And they want something very, very unique for them. The same like, uh, you know, a different from uh, a good uh, crystal pieces like uh, Swarovski. <laughs> and uh, a diamond. The value is different. And also the answer about the people, the wow effect is the diamond, of course. I have a question for both. What's your favorite work you did? Your uh, I would like to say another thing about uh, the previous question, just very quick. So I can say that in my opinion, uh, the relationship that uh, connects us to our client is based on trust. So we have uh, a first approach that is made of uh, human feeling. So if uh, you feel that you can trust somebody, then the, it will start a really good relationship because they are uh, giving you a very important thing that is their house, their home. So first of all is uh, trust. And then it happens everything that Marco said, but in my opinion, in the beginning, I, I really be believe in emotions so I believe that uh, trust is the first thing that connect you in a right way to, the, to your clients. Yeah, I agree. Uh, sorry, can you repeat your question? No, no, your, your, ah, okay. your, your work, favorite work that uh, yeah. you did. Uh, well, I can say that uh, my favorite job uh, are the most challenging. So at the beginning, uh, you are... Uh, you cannot wait to start the project because you, you know that uh, you will have to face so many challenges. And then uh, during the project, uh, you, you would like to change your work, probably, and uh, quit your job and uh, start doing something different. But at the end, my favorites are the most difficult. And I say the, the difficult is not the pro just the production but is connected to logistic and solution most of the time. Working on difficult part of uh, the planet, I can say, uh, I can say that, uh, of course, uh, it's difficult to describe a private villa project to say that one is my favorite. But I can say definitely that uh, the biggest are the challenges, the most favorite will be my project, the, the project. So, that's my vision. Same for you. My favorite job is the next job, <laughs> because the show must go on. <laughs> bravo, bravo. It's like uh, Renzo Ferrari, Enzo Ferrari, you know. <laughs> when, you know, when the people, journalists, ask him uh, which is the best Ferrari car, the next one. <laughs> exactly. That's the right way. <laughs> By the way, now I want to thank. Marco Vedovetto and Daniel Forino, thank you to stay with us. And only us only two, two, two small things about uh, the, uh, the value to make the conclusion about that. Sorry, Andrea, if I interrupt no. you. 
What, is, what, what I mean here, essentially, the, the, the three pillars for our job. Our job could be very, very uh, be completed and well done. When we respect the three pillars, the first one is uh, timing, for sure. The second one is budget, budget respecting. Now we want to understand all the points <laughs> in <That's> detail. <laughs> yeah, and this one I'm is joking. <laughs> okay. And then uh, the, the other part is very difficult to respect. Eh? I'm sorry for uh, you. <laughs> you know, we, we try to do our best for the value engineering, but uh, if you can see, some line is deleted. So this is another way to, to respect the budget, removing the unnecessary. And then uh, high quality standard is the, the first pillar. I agree. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.